fucking roly poly man became singing songs of love. Yeah, the roly poly, roly poly. Close back to the 60s. What do you expect? The young Donovan Leach. Young Glaswegian who landed on London in the mid 60s on Dylan's tour. His tour on to England. London. 1965, don't look back, Bob, with a very young Donovan. was the hurdy-gurdy man. History is of ages past, unlight and shadows cast, down through all eternity, and the crying of humanity. And then when the hurdy-gurdy man came singing the songs of love, Cut it short here, came up with a classic verse, as he claims when he was in India, 1967, with four Beach Boys, Mio Farrow, and the Beatles. One night, they were all gathered together, in Maharishi's bungalow. They were all in the room. There was an embarrassing silence. And John Lennon, the wit and the humorous, he decided to break the silence. So he went up to the Maharishi, he patted him on the head and he said, There's a good little guru. <laughs> they all laughed. The Maharishi laughed the loudest. So the next night they were all gathered together on the roof of their bungalows under the Indian tropical stars. So they broke out the guitars and he decided to write this song. George Harrison, he loved George. George said, I could write a verse for that song, Don. didn't record it. So this is a long lost verse, the very rare long lost verse of George Harrison. He loved George. George said this. When the truth gets buried deep beneath a thousand years of sleep, Time demands a turn around, and once again the truth is found. Yeah, George, he said that. Waking in the hurdy gurdy man, he came singing the songs of love. Hurdy gurdy, hurdy gurdy, hurdy gurdy, gurdy gurdy gurdy. And then came the hurdy gurdy man, he came singing the songs of love. Hurdy gurdy, hurdy gurdy. Okay.
daddy man He came to sing in the songs of love Haddy gaddy, haddy gaddy The Beatles, me old Faro, and one Beach Boy, for 1967, in India, the hurdy-gurdy man, with the little Maharishi.